My name is Ian. Cutting to the point, I've decided to recreate some of my favorite RuPaul's Drag Race looks, starting with season 13. I have been considering which looks to create. I narrowed it down to these ones. Considering my skill level as a baby designer, considering the materials, considering how much time I think everything should take, the one I decided to make is Got Mix Entrance Look. So, I'm gonna react to it. Time, Time to crush the system. system! We're having this asymmetrical tool netting fantasy and this swirly, like, there's some tool until about right here. All on the left side of their body. The right arse cheek is still out. Black hair, black shoes, accents of black in the makeup. It, the hair is also giving that swirl that the whole outfit is giving. Black lips, Gomic has said that she loves the black lip. We have three pastel colors, two bold colors. The pastel colors being that bright pink, the muted coral, the two bold saturated colors, the red, the cherry red, and the lime green. The bodysuit it suit itself seems to have lime green, bright pink, bright yellow, and some brown where it really ends. Exposed shoulder, asymmetrical sleeve, with the makeup is the same color palette as the dress. Nude leg, the nails are gonna match, but I'm gonna tell you right now, if I do nails in this look, they're not gonna match the look. Like, hello? I'm not sure if the fabric is stretch fabric or some sort of latex, but it's shiny. I don't know where to get that fabric. And so, lastly, the designer of this look, got make has tagged as Ray Ortiz, and their Instagram is fashion by Ray Ortiz. Excellent designer, and thank God, they posted a ton of pictures of the look so that I can look at these pictures and have a sense of what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> okay, we will see if I can recreate this look in a week. Given that I have only done drag once, like at leaving my house once to go to the club, and given that I have never created any type of drag look at all, we're gonna see if I have what it takes, starting now. It is so cool. Old. Leaving my house to go to Joanne's and the thrift store. I'm looking for three neon fabrics and two pastelish fabrics because that's what's on Gomic's outfit. I'm looking at bedding first. Bedding's good because there's just so much material. Um, it's basically just like fabric. So after scouring the thrift store, there was nothing acceptable for the project, nothing stretchy. The bed sheets just weren't working. But I did pick up a bunch of affordable, cute seals like these. I know what you're thinking. Ew, a water bottle from the thrift store. But listen, it had that like tag in it that comes in new water bottles. So that means it's new. Nobody's gonna open the water bottle, use it and save the tag and then put the tag back in before they donate it. Anyway, I still like cleaned it hella. And then I put all these cute ass stickers on it. And so I'm just so happy to have it. And I'll link the stickers below because they're hella cute. Also, this trash can upgrade to a wicker basket, please. And lastly, part of my ring light broke, and I literally did not even know what this part was, let alone where to get it. So I just found it in the thrift store, and I just tried my luck for a dollar. I was like, I'll try to screw it on, and voila. But anyways, getting back to finding my fabrics. So off to Joanne's now, and I hope that I have a coupon in my email box. Let's check. Making a quick pit stop at Bay Area Classic, Senor Sisig, and crying because the ube horchata I've never seen before has a hella condensed milk in it. Like, what do I look like? But this looks bomb, right? And now actually getting the fabrics. Hi, baby girl. Here we go, we're in performance fabrics. A lot of these are like very stretchy fabrics with spandex in them. We are back with the fabrics. Here we go. Some tool, stretchy fabrics. These col- oh my god. I don't remember. I thought I'd put this back. But we got our bright orange. We got two yards of it. Super bright sunshine yellow, one yard. Neon pink, one yard. Lime green, one yard. And this fluorescent shiny pink. So with all this tool, I'm just- I know that I'm gonna need more tool. Looking at Gottmik's 
Oh, that's more than 12 yards of tool. Okay, so all of this after the Joanne coupons, after the Joanne sales, which they always have, turned out to be $67. Um, I think that this is all I'm gonna need for the project. I have all my sewing supplies already. I know I could have found better prices online, but sometimes you just gotta get it done. And I, of course, I would always prefer using reusable fabrics and I, I try to implement that into my sewing style a lot. And so hopefully in the future I can do that more. So now that we have our fabric selection, I'm going to start to combine all these fabrics into one so that I can have a great base to start with. Um, I guess we're just gonna cut vertical strips of each, but let's get started. So first I cleaned my dirty arse desk, laid the pink fabric out, and put my weights on the edges. With chalk, I started marching three inch strips so that I can cut them out and have half an inch seam allowance on each side, letting the base of it be two inches after it's sewn together. Busted out my rotary cutter and cut along a straight yardstick, but you could also just do it with scissors if you marked all the way up and down. And then I just repeated the process for each color. So now I just realized that I did not know what order that I should put them in, that it's like the most pleasing and like the cutest. Again, I am not a scientist and I don't know color theory that well, but this is what I think look cutest. So now for just like the banal task of sewing the strips together over and over again so that we have a good sheet of fabric to use. The precision of sewing these together didn't really match that much because these fabrics are super stretchy and forgiving. But it did take me like three hours. So now it's time to create the pattern for the base of my garment, which would just be a bodysuit. I had a bodysuit on hand, and so I just used the method where you trace whatever clothes you have to make the pattern. Basically, a pattern piece, in my own words, is like the construction of the garment, each piece that you would sew together to make the garment. I traced the bodice, the arms, and the gloves. Ugh, I hate making gloves, but it was all simple enough since the bodysuit already had fit me pretty well. Also, I just didn't need to be super, super precise because it, the fabric is so stretchy that if I'm not that precise, it would be pretty forgiving. Lastly, I cut out the pattern and I marked which sides I want to cut on the fold of the fabric. Now I cut, 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 and I just made a spontaneous decision halfway through to cut some of the pieces along diagonal so that, you know, the whole thing will look diagonal as opposed to straight vertical stripes. And after more cutting, voila, it's done. It's Britney, bitch. Why, hello there. So, we finished this bodysuit. I feel like I'm in the circus. <laughs> no kick. I just decided to do diagonal cuts at a point because I thought that a regular straight cut would be too boring. But now that I'm thinking about it, if I were to have tool like, if I were to have a bunch of tool like this, um, I would not like this diagonal. It gives me like peppermint swirl. This diagonal is not so bad, but I feel like the back might be the best. But like even in general, this outfit gives me a lot of like Dua Lipa, like let's get physical energy. Now pick. Honestly, my fellow dumpster mice, it was the weekend and it was time to take a break. So I decided to go to the beautiful beaches down the coast of the Bay Area. And for all of you who don't know, this is Daly City, Pacifica, and Moss Beach. Hello, my God. She's coming out of the dungeon on the She's coming for the dungeon under under. By the way, this has been plaguing me, but like when Nicki Minaj says, let's go to the beach, each let's go get away. Is she saying, let's go get a wave, let's go get away, or let's go to the bay? Because literally, I've had a friend who said each one of them and stood by it with their life. And I'm just like, this needs to end. I need to get to the bottom of this. Like, hello? But in all seriousness, oh, like, that's you leave me alone. She's so great. She's great. She's great. She's great. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Got an extra 30 yards of tool from a fabric wholesale place. And I totally failed to plan the collar of this look, so I just used these scraps of fabric to make a collar out of patchwork. Please. <laughs> Please look good by the end of this. So right now I just have to tighten up the neck and apply 
hella tool, but is it is it gonna look like hodgepodge or is it gonna look is it gonna look sickening? If you can see closely, I've just pinned them in place for now. Now I cut tons of long strands of tool of different widths of three, six, and eight inches to begin the gathering process. So as you can see here, I gathered the fabric within an inch of its life. I did have a gathering foot and that did help the process a lot, but gathering has always been a fun process for me. I gathered all of the tool and that took me about two hours. <laughs> But now that we've finished the gathering of the tool, uh, we have hella strips, six inches, five inches, six inches, three inches, etc. I feel like that'll help with the proportions of the dress. I'm thinking this looks okay. I feel like it could use a lot of work right now. The only thing I'm worried about is, hello, what does this color combination give you? This is not a winter wonderland. This is not Christmas. I don't want these two colors together next to each other. I think I'm... No, these two colors should not be next to each other. Should I take out the green and leave the red? Or should I put this light yellow in between? So we have red, we have light yellow, then we have green. Okay, this might work. Okay, if the yellow separates the green and the red, I think it'll be okay. I'm not in love with the color palette right now because we have these beautiful pastels and then we have the green and the red are just so saturated, it kind of makes me stressed out. Oh yeah, to attach the fabric to the bodice, listen, um, this is a really hard sewing technique. I actually barely learned it just for this video and it has taken me a long time to master it. But what you're gonna do is when you intend to attach the netting to the bodice, you're gonna put it in place like such. And then here comes the hard part. You're gonna get the hot glue gun and you're gonna glue it into place and then you're gonna hope nobody sees the hot glue gun and you're gonna hope it sticks on. But from experience, it sticks on. I'm just like, <laughs> I, I'm a hot glue queen now. I literally just bought the hot glue gun for this and like it's a good investment and plus I got 60% off at Joann's. And so what we're gonna do now is hot glue all the rest of the tool on. I plan the colors to make it seem like the best for focal points and all. Um, I'm not a, a scientist like you know how like the eye should wander from one place to the next. Um, that. I have it planned out for that. What we're gonna do tonight is put the rest of the netting on and hope that it looks presentable. Like what the hell? <laughs> this part, maybe I'm being too self-deprecating, but girl, this is what it would look like if an ice cream man joined the Dallas Cowboys cheerleader and had to make his own outfit. This is giving me sherbet. It's giving me, what's that like chocolate, strawberry, vanilla? Tra Cosmopolitan? Cosmopolitan? Neapolitan. It's giving me Neapolitan. I don't know about this. You know, the back is actually kind of like diagonal but I thought that looked bad too what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put it on and pray that it looks decent and we're gonna edit the hell out of the final video to make it look presentable also let's not don't even at me for the construction of this glove what is this <laughs> but I gotta go so I will hit you up tomorrow when I get got mixed makeup oh but first here's a time lapse of me placing the tool and hot gluing it into place And so now I just invite you to go on this drive with me through the streets of San Francisco, you know, just on my way to get some white foundation. Oh wait, we're literally here. That's the Carlon store, right? Okay, never mind. After reaching the store, I literally took eight minutes to go find parking. <laughs> Finally got the white foundation. So now that everything is finally completed, I practiced Scott makes makeup at least once before the photo shoot. Tidied up the costume, headed to the castro with my friend Steven, and here are the final results. She's a mammoth, of course, and 